tell the armory, tell a friend, tell the only one around who's gonna know just what to say. It's the armory, it's mine. For me, it's, everybody has a different opinion or a different experience. And, uh, um, I guess, you know, there was one show in Japan at Fuji Rock Festival, which seemed pretty cool. <laughs> ah. For me, every show is uh, the best one. <laughs> I try to give, uh, you know, 200% um, uh, every day. For me, every is good. I <laughs> help so. So many good experiences as well. One one that kind of stands out for me is um, it's a festival in Seattle called I think it was called the Bumber Shoot. Is that the one that I wasn't at? No, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Scratch, can you edit, edit that? Out? <laughs> yeah, that was shit. That one. Um, what, what about that one in? Switzerland in Geneva. <clears throat> that, yeah. That was good. We still had so many um, great shows. Our own shows, like, we've always had really good shows in Glasgow. I, I really liked, remember we played in the Louisiana and Bristol? Yeah. That was yeah. good because that was like, um, it was a couple of records in, you know, and we were, had been touring for a long time and we were a bit sort of, I don't know, not jaded, but just getting a bit. Mm -hmm. Exhausted and everything, and then, and then we played that show. And it was a tiny little place, and it was like kind of back to the old days again, you know, like really yeah, exciting. Yeah. We've been really lucky um, with the people, like bands and stuff we've played with. We played with the Pixies um, in Glasgow, and that was amazing. Yeah. We played with Nick Cave in the Alley Pally in London, which was really good. And we did a tour with Morrissey and things like that. It's hard for us sometimes to pick the best show that we've ever put on because, um, like we always say, like Jules Holland, the big show here. It was probably one of the most monumental things we did, but two nights ago in whatever small city was just as much fun for us. I mean, we tend to find a party wherever we go, or the party finds us, I don't know. And um, there's always something in every show that makes that show seem like it's really special, whether it be someone that is taking off their bra while you're singing, or it's someone that's crying because they understand the message, or it's someone that's dancing wilder than you've ever seen anyone dance, or it's the first time you hear people singing your lyrics, or it's the first time you hear an entire room singing your lyrics, or it's just some city that you've dreamt of being in, and maybe the show wasn't even that great, but we're playing music in that city, so that felt like the best show. I mean, we can't even narrow it down because everything doesn't feel so perfect, it just feels so good. Plus that we're feeding so much of the audience, and the audience on, in, here in the UK has been incredible, you know? I mean, the, the energy we're getting back is just fantastic. Some great shows aren't even really shows. Again, they're these, you know, sweaty, dirty, sexy after hour parties that are random and late and, you know, just a small room. And there's, there's some great magical moments that happen in that environment as well. So, definitely a highlight. And you know what happened next? I said hi politely. And we went to town for coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was when I knew. That was when I knew I was wrong, wrong, wrong all along. The 
best show I've ever put on that, I don't know, I mean it all, s <laughs> um, some nights it feels great and like the best, it's hard to say, I mean the other, uh, gosh, it's about expectations I think is, you know, your best show, um, we were on tour this fall opening for Wild Flag and then we had a show on our own in Oxford, Mississippi and there were about 20 people there and so that was a disappointment but I think it was like the best show we did of the whole tour because we were so relaxed and we were playing these shows in front of lots of people so then to just play in front of a few people was it it was we played probably better than we had the whole tour but um, it's always fun to try something new and then get it over with you know like for a while for instance we're playing these hour-long medleys and it seemed very difficult and and if we just got through it, it felt like running a race or something and getting to the finish line was an achievement. Yeah. Please don't take me at this stage. My wealth is all at your command. If you will move your eyes. I've played some shows that I have an extremely fond memory of because there's no way they'll ever be documented or people will really ever hear them in the way that they happened with a band called Stars Like Fleas in Brooklyn in the 2000s. They're not necessarily the best shows I ever played, but in the sense that they're the most elusive moments in perform that I ever had performing that have now gone... No, no, I have a better answer. The no, I don't. That's a good answer. I mean, as far as solo gigs, like Sam gigs, I think the best show I ever played was about three months ago in a parking lot outside of uh, this uh, sort of open studios gallery thing that was happening. It wasn't, it shouldn't have been good, but it was amazing. I don't know. That's not really a question for me. Uh, I guess my probably the favorite show I've ever played was Lollapalooza. It was a really big festival. We had a great time slot. The audience was super into it. Um, it was me with the big ensemble, which is about like 15 people. And uh, we were playing with a marching band on top of that, so it was about 35 people total. It was just really fun. It's just, just wild. It was a good time. Everyone, everyone. Uh, uh, uh. The more the crowd, the better I do come out. Yeah.